There's a stretch of highway in Montgomery where police have responded to almost 50 accidents in the last two weeks. Continuing our team coverage of severe weather, 9 News reporter Bryce Onslinger is live in Montgomery where police hope a simple warning can make getting home easier. Bryce? That's right, Clyde and Carol. Following this, uh, the speed listed on signs sounds easy, but police here in Montgomery say far too many people are going too fast when merging from 275 to 71, and that's causing problems for everyone. And you, as you can see, the guardrail pieces of car, that's been hit a lot. Sergeant Greg Harris has been patrolling the streets of Montgomery for the past 14 years. In that time, he's seen too much of this. Car accidents where the driver is the only person to blame. I think the curve sneaks up on people quicker than what they think. Uh, I don't think they pay attention to um, the signage that's there. You know, all the ramps have this suggested speed um, for a reason. Harris is talking about drivers who are merging from 275 West to 71 South and 71 South to 275 East. It's in that stretch of road where police have responded to 43 accidents in the last two weeks. That's more than half of all the accidents in Montgomery during that time. And when an accident happens, the ramp has to be shut down. It's usually too dangerous to leave it open. Um, you know, when you have a car disabled in a ramp, the ramps are, you know, they're blind curves. Um, so we, you know, you can't keep your safety personnel safe at the scene and, and then the rest of the motoring public safe um, by having cars try to go through. You know, you're up to highway speeds at 60 or 65 miles an hour and then when you start to exit this ramp, you can see the suggested speed for the ramp for the curve is 30 miles an hour. Montgomery Police and ODOT are working to make the curves as safe as possible. But Harris says if you simply drive at the 30 miles per hour listed on the signs, you'll have no trouble getting home safely. And Sergeant Harris says you need to make sure your vehicle is ready for winter. He says you want to check your tires, make sure they have enough tread and are inflated to the proper levels. Carol, let's send it back to you in the studio. Sounds like good advice. Uh, Bryce Onslinger live in Montgomery. Thanks.